Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home. In today's video, I have three Dollar Tree farmhouse DIY projects to share with you. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. We post lots of DIY tutorials. The first project I'm going to show you how to do is this really cute sign and wreath. So you're going to need to get a large wreath form from Dollar Tree. Also pick up a square sign. I chose this one. It says begin each day with a grateful heart. I'm also going to be using some foliage. I am just using my Ikea plant because I had it on hand and I thought it really mimicked what I saw in this picture. So I am just going to go around my plant and put two sprigs on each side. And right now I'm just kind of sticking them in, seeing what I like and what looks nice. I'm not gluing anything in place yet. Once I've moved them around where I want to, I'm just going to start with hot gluing them in place. And I'm also gonna put the sign back on to make sure that it's where I want it. And then when I'm done gluing them all in place, I'll just hot glue the sign to the front. And this is my simple sign that I think looks really cute in farmhouse. Next thing we're gonna make is this plant stand. So what you're going to need for this is two round mirrors from Dollar Tree. You're also going to pick up four of, the, these are actually plunger sticks that they sell in the cleaning aisle. And then you're going to need some kind of laminate. I am using this marble that I picked up at Walmart, but they also have this gray and white one that they sell at Dollar Tree that's very similar, you could use that. Or if you wanted to paint them, you could do that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure how long these sticks are so that I can cover them with the laminate. So I'm gonna cut four sheets of laminate that are perfect size so I can wrap these sticks. From here, we're going to glue down these sticks. So you're gonna need wood glue, and I'm also using E6000. One end is kind of rounded and one end is flat. The flat end is the end that we're going to be putting down on the mirror. So you want to use wood glue and E6000 to put them in place. And then I'm just using things I have on hand to hold these sticks up until they have a chance to dry. You're gonna to wanna to use whatever you can. I'm using just glue bottles and then let them sit overnight to dry. Once they've completely dried, you can now add some wood glue to the top. These are going to be the ends that are more curved. I'm not adding E6000 because I don't feel like it's necessary since this is on the top layer. And then I'm gonna take my top mirror and just set it on top. I'm gonna let this dry again for another 24 hours before I put any plants on it. But this is how it turned out and I think it is really cute. This project cost me $6 because I already had the laminate paper. Next, we're gonna make these super cute candle holders. So you're gonna need some champagne glasses, three of them. You're also going to need a candle holder. I picked up this one that's newer. It's got a gold base that's kind of has a honeycomb pattern on it and I got three of those. And then for the candles, I'm using ones I already had, which is these gold tea lights that they sell at Dollar Tree. All of this is bought at Dollar Tree. So all you're gonna do is flip your champagne glass upside down, and then you're gonna use E6000 all along the base of this, and then put your candle holder in place. And then you can just stick your candle in place and I think these are really cute. They'd be great for fall, but also these are gonna look nice for Christmas and they would just look really pretty sitting out. I hope you guys like these DIYs we did. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos, right here is some of my favorites in a playlist. And I also have my most recent video.